I am going to test this 280 volts UVW DC fan blower motor. But before testing this motor, you need to know how this UVW DC motor is controlled and where this motor's control circuit is. Let me move the motor to the side to place this motherboard here. This motherboard is of a sharp mini split air conditioner, which is installed in the outdoor unit, which is a 1.5 ton model. Two IPM are installed inside this motherboard. One is installed over here for controlling the compressor. The other is installed beneath this heat sink you're seeing. It is used to control the UVW fan blower motor. This is the output connector of the fan IPM. This fan blower connector is installed with the connector in the motherboard. Let me show you another motherboard. The one IPM is this. And the fan IPM looks something like this. The control circuit for the DC UVW fan blower motor is installed here. This control the IPM and then the blower motor. The feedback is also controlled through this circuit in the motherboard. And this motor operates on 280 DC volts. This is another motherboard of 1.5 ton from the Gree company. I have removed its fan IPM from the motherboard. The fan connector is installed here. I have removed it to replace it with a new IPM. This is how you will differentiate between the UVW and a normal DC fan motor. The motor with 5 wires will have the control circuit inside the DC blower motor, and the motor with 3 wire will have its control circuit inside the motherboard. I will first test the UVW DC motor. You will need a multimeter to test it. And for my ease, I have held the connector of the motor in a vise. I have set the multimeter to resistance mode. I will check the resistance between the red and yellow wire. The resistance value between them is 61.8 ohms. Now I will check the resistance value between the yellow and blue wire. The value should be the same across all wires. Yellow and blue also have the same value. Now I will check the values between the red and blue wires. The values on these wires are also 61.9 ohms. If the value had been 60 ohms or less than this, then it would have been a big difference, and this would be a red flag that the motor winding has got weak. The motor works if the resistance reading has a difference of 5 ohms. But if the value decreases or increases, then 5 ohms, then the motor is considered bad. Now I will test these 5 wired motors. The best way of testing these 5 wired motors is through their physical condition first. I am rotating the motor through its shaft. If the shaft rotates freely, the circuit board is fine. But this is not the proper way of testing the motor, but this can give you a hint of whether this motor is good or bad. I can rotate this motor easily too. This motor is also good, this motor is from Mitsubishi, which has gone bad. Let me tell you how to know the DC motor is bad. When I am rotating the shaft of the motor, I am applying more power to rotate it. The control circuit inside this motor has been short-circuited, which I have made out of its body. It has been completely shorted. The IGBT is packed inside the circuit board. And due to being short-circuited, it is getting hard to rotate the shaft of this motor. It is not letting the motor rotate easily. This is the biggest sign of the DC motor being bad. You will always have to test it through its shaft. Let me tell you another method of testing this motor. Most technicians test the DC motor by rotating it through the blower fan blades. Because the fan blades have an edge of distance, that is the reason we can rotate the shaft of the motor easily. This way, we are not able to know the motor is bad. We will think the motor is good to go with. Remove this fan blade and then rotate the shaft of the DC motor. It will be easier to check the DC motor on the site. All doubt about whether the motor is bad or good will be cleared. These disposable DC motors are difficult to be repaired when the control board inside it short circuits. The shaft of the motor will not rotate freely if this happens. This means they are of no use. You will check the motors with steel bodies by opening them apart, and they can be repaired. Other than this, there is another type of sealed motor, which has a chance of repair. But not for the completely sealed DC motors. Now the situation with these types of motors could be that its shaft would rotate freely, but it does not work when installed in the motherboard or the system. Then let me tell you how to test the motor in such a situation. You will check the control motherboard first in that case. I hope you got all the points. 
Click on the left video to learn how to test a DC blower motor using a homemade tester. And subscribe. Thank you.